Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Trouble Free and in today's video I'm going to tell you about TCS Explore like how do you complete that and what is the process how do you access to TCS Explore and some other doubts which I have been constantly uh, receiving in my Instagram messages or in my YouTube comments related to like uh, February and QT whether October and QT students can write again or not and is there any eligibility criteria and all those things I'm going to discuss in this video so make sure that you'll be watching the video till the end so first let us complete all about TCS Explore and if, if there is any deadline to complete TCS Explore and let us know all those things and in the later part of the video in the last of the video at the end of the video I'll answer all the comments and all the doubts I've been receiving uh, related to my past previous videos right so i already made a video on what actually explore program is so most of you have already received mails related to explore program if you have accepted your offer letter so your so yeah before going to that i'll tell you what all you'll be uh, knowing in this video whether you have to ma uh, compulsory do the explore program what if you have not re received any mail related to the explore program and what is the last day to complete is there any deadline and what are the steps to access and any doubts related to february and qt is explore program mandatory yes it's mandatory it's like a training program you, you will be learning things in this right if you what if you have not received explore related mail let's wait or if you are not receiving uh, let's give a try by you know i'll give you the link in the description tcs explore link i'll give you in the description go to the link and follow the steps which i'll be telling in the later part of the video and last day to complete the course there is no particular last day to complete the course but if you complete the course by march 31st you will be receiving a stipend an additional stipend kind of thing i can say if you get 55 percent or more in the explore exam and that too if you write it before march 31st you will be getting a uh, like a bonus or a stipend kind of thing of 40,000 rupees, right? If you do it after 31st of March, you'll not get 40,000, you'll be getting 20,000 lesser. And if you get 80% or more in the exam, you'll be getting a bonus of 60,000. And that too, if you complete it by March 31st, after that, if you complete it, you'll not get 60,000, you'll get some amount lesser than 60,000, right? So make sure and like see that you'll be completing it uh, before march 31st so that you can get an extra amount and which will be an encouragement for you as well and uh, steps to access tcs explore i'll be telling next and doubts related to tcs and qt also i'll be discussing in the last of the video at the end of the video so yeah you'll be getting a mail in this way welcome to exciting world of tcs and explore support all this mail you'll be getting and uh, when you click the link in the mail You'll be getting a TCS Explore homepage in this way. And if you're not getting the mail, I'll, I said I'll give you a description in the, I'll give you the link in the description, right? So if you click on that link also, you'll be getting this page only. So after going to this page, you have to, uh, you know, swipe down and there you'll arrive student TCS institution as you're a student, as you're joining as a fresher in the TCS, you have to click on the student profile. So on clicking on student, you'll be getting like this. This will take you to the another website. Then you have to click OK, right? And then you'll be getting the next step page. There you have to give your login credentials, your email ID and password should be given correctly. And then after this page will be opened for you. This is the explore page, right? So here you'll be finding all your my products, my courses and all those things. And if you are not able to get this page on your computer, make sure that you will uh, clear all your cookies in your browser and then try reloading it again then you'll be getting it okay so after going to here you'll have all your my products tcs explore software power foundation python uh, java and all those things you have it so when you scroll down you'll be getting some more courses and all right so what you have to do is you here you have an arrow right so there if you click you'll be getting an option called as expand so you'll be you have to expand it again this one if you click on it you'll be getting all those things tcs explore business skills you have to launch it the video will be for 14 minutes uh, like the duration will be for some time you have to listen to the video you'll be having the pdf related to that and all those things you can access through this okay this is how you have to uh, do explore process step by step right so this is what you have to follow this is what you have to do for tcs 
explore how to access to explore this is the process you have to do okay so this is about tcs explore and if you ask tcs explore is mandatory it's better you do tcs explore you know it's just a training kind of thing right in any company before you do your job you have to get trained right so in order to get trained tcs is giving you an explore like explore kind of a separate thing to get trained so this is how you can learn things this is how you can apply things and all so this is all about tcs explore and still if you're having any doubts related to tcs explore do let me know in the comment section i'll definitely uh, try to reply to all the comments and if you're having any problem to comment in the comment section then you can text me on instagram i'll give you my instagram id in the description and also i'll give you my gmail id as well you can contact me through the, my gmail id also so the next that we have we, the next part of the video is we have to uh, discuss about the questions and doubts and that getting in the comments right so can all students give nqt if already given in october 2020 yes you can right you can give the exam you can give the nqt exam but you cannot participate in the interview if you have already participated in october 2020 because once you have participated in the interview you must wait for six months in order to participate again so on that reason you cannot participate in the interview but you can write your nqt exam if you have not given your interview in october 2020 now you have a chance of giving your interview in january i mean february 2020 exam 2021 exam okay can we convert ninja to digital through feb and qt 2021 see you can convert but you can just write exam and wait for six more months in order to participate in the interview after six more months you may not be able to write the exam uh, because maybe you'll be busy with some other works right so if you like think that after six months i cannot write the exam now you can write your exam and keep your score ready to attend the interview after six months okay so from the last interview date you have attended you have to wait for six months in order to attend for interview again that is according to the tcs company policy okay next february 2021 is this going to be online or offline see the pandemic is still continuing but still this time tcs is going to conduct the exam offline when you are filling your nqt registration you must have seen in the end city preference so their city preference and uh, you have to give your city preference in which center in which city you are preferring to write your examination so that you will be writing uh, your exam in the ne nearest tcs ion uh, tcs digital ion centers okay so this is going to be offline there is no chance of being online but in the end in the last if there are any changes we cannot do anything it may be offline at that time and what are the batches eligible for that that means passed out 2021 passed outs are of course eligible 2022 students also can write it will be like a practice for them or it will be like if you score good now as this tcs nqt score will be valid for two more years you can use this score for your interview purpose also right next and what about the previous years passed out 2020 2019 2018 and all uh, see if you are not having clarity whether you can write like whether you can whether you are eligible or not just try giving the exam so already 2021 pass doubts are recruited in october 2020 right so now they may give a chance for you so let's have a positive hope and try writing it if you are even if you are a 2018 or 2019 or 2020 passed out also right will your offer letter be affected even if we don't perform well in this exam see if you are receive if you have received an offer letter now for ninja profile or for digital profile and you are writing the tcs nqt now again yes you can write but still some people are having doubt that whether their existing offer letter will be affected because of writing exam now no your offer letter will not be taken back because of the performance in this nqt right you are selected based on the performance in your previous nqt in uh, based on october nqt you are selected so now there is no chance that your offer letter will be taken back irrespective of your performance in this february right and mode of interview mode of interview will be uh, 90% it will it is going to be online not only tcs tcs 
partnered companies also who are going to hire through TCS and QT. All those interviews will be through online itself for 90%. Right? Next. Should we write now again or we can attend interview with previous Korea? This is also have been receiving frequently. See, previously you, you got a score and but still you're not selected for interview or you were not able to attend for interview. Whether you can write it, you can attend for interview now with the same score that you have got in October 2020. No, you have to write NQT again now in order to attend for interview. With that score, you cannot attend now. Okay, and the exam pattern. Exam pattern is going to be same as how you have written it in um, October 2020. The same exam pattern you are going to have now. Right. So this is all about this are the questions that I have received. So according to my knowledge, I think I've cleared all the questions and still if there are any doubts, let me know in the comment section. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, subscribe and share it with your friends. And if the video was informative, if the video was useful for you, uh, do mention it in the comments that it was helpful for you and also share it with your friends. I'll give you my contact details in Instagram if, uh, in the description if you want to contact me through Gmail or through Instagram for any doubts or for any other queries you can contact me no problem and so that's all for this video if still you are having any doubts let me know in the comments if uh, there is any mistake in the video let me know in the comment section and any video recommendations or any suggestions to improve videos all things are welcomed in my uh, comments. So feel free to comment what you feel about the video and thanks for your patience towards the video. And the next video is going to be all about Infosys recruitment. Uh, whether there is any change from last year or the pattern is going to be same. Is there any updation in the syllabus? All those details regarding Infosys I'll be making in the next video. So stay tuned to my channel to uh, get all the academic related updates and also placement related updates. And also I'm going to do videos on internships related to some companies like Deloitte, Accenture, Microsoft and all off campus related videos also I'll be doing. So stay tuned to my channel and share it with your friends so that it will be useful for your friends as well. And thank you for watching the video and that's all for this video.